All right, my friends, this is a yard something. Yard works 30 inch snowblower. It's a big boy. And my buddy Alfred, this is the second time he has uh, eaten something with the auger. So on this particular event, I was home, so he brought it to me. But the last time he did this, he had to take it to a commercial repair place, and I think it cost him dearly. So what I did now is I just took this, what was left over of a shear pin, right? And it was in the shaft. I'll just show you that now. Right there. Okay. So I just... Uh, you see the the drift pin right there? I just poked it out. You can see the bottom of it right there. We're going to take the next one out too. If it's in there. Sometimes they fall out of it. You know what I'm going to do? Well, I've got that poked through there. I'm going to take... Maybe it's not that easy. Yay! Okay, that's one. Now the next one, I don't know if he's, uh, if, if it came right out or not. So let's have a little look. Yeah, that's the same. I'm going to have to pound it out too. So if you look right there, you'll see the pin is still in the hole. So I'm going to pound that one out too. There it is. Thanks, Alfred. I think this is going to be a good video. This one in the hole. Good. Hey, things are getting a little easier. Now, find the last one. And I see over here they're all lined up, and back on this side they're all lined up. So now let's get that last one out of there if it happens. It should be about there. There you go. That one's gone. Put a new one in. I've ordered 10 of these and I'll show you something you may not know on your Yardworks snowblower or any other snowblower in matter of fact. Okay, I'm just going to put the clips on there. Let's just do that right now. They're not hard to put on. You might be able to watch us do this one. Can you see the hole there? Yeah, maybe you can. I'll turn the, the pin around in the pliers. Go on? Yes, it did. I like it halfway though. There. And then this one, on the last one, is the same. Right down in there. We may not have the dexterity to do that with a camera on. <laughs> Come on, baby! There it is. And all, all of them are on, and you'll see the tines meet here, and they meet on the other side, over here. Now we're going to stand the snowblower, or yeah, the snowblower back up again, and I'm going to show you something that's kind of cool. We're not going to break anything here. Okay, so most snowblowers, even my old craftsman, have a place to put spare uh, shear pins. Like one goes in that hole, and one goes in that hole. So if you if you break a, sh a shear pin, 
you've got at least two there. So I've ordered ten. They're supposed to be here in a couple of days. And uh, the next thing now that we've got this uh, snowblower put together is to make sure that everything still goes around and around up and down. And then really all i got to do is check the belts and the oil. And yes, he's taking the skids off because he doesn't have room in his van. To, hard to believe, but he doesn't have room in his van to slip it through. So thanks for this one. We'll carry this one on later on. So, yard works, 30 inch, three shear pins broken. Now these are, the new ones are different than the old ones. My old one has this many augers, but there's only one shear pin per auger. But they're thicker. They're three eighths, not a quarter inch. So, whatever. Here we go. All right, so I thought I had a bad switch, but I thought, well, we're going to go to starter 101 here, and I just tapped the starter. Now look at this. It wouldn't go before, honest to gosh. Right? But there's no ignition switch, or there's no ignition key. So come with me now to the other side. And see right there right beside the choke right there now that might even start it we'll take it off a choke because I've been turning it over a lot oh, just a little bit of choke eh? not quite that's not quite the right thing I think I can cut something out of a heavy piece of cardboard. I'll be right back. Well, let's try something pretty crude here. That should do it. leave that in there until the owner comes to get it. Now, got it running. Got to open the door so I don't die. Well, we're batting a thousand here. Beat on the starter with a hammer and it starts. Made a cardboard key and it works. Now we're going to check the belts. Ah, right there. Looks like a 10 mil there and a 10 mil there. Would that be right? I think it's a 3 8. Okay, so I just took the cover off. Sorry about that. There's one screw right there. Can you see that? Right there. And one screw on the other side. That should do it. There we go. Oh, there's one. Is there one more holder on it around there? I don't think so. Good. I don't know if you guys can get in here or not with me. Okay, can you see that? Not really. Hey, let's get you right up there. And then we'll zoom in. That's what we're looking at there, guys. Just pull the rope a little bit. I guess I'll check the bottom one first. Boy, that's a small belt for a big machine, huh? 
Which one's the auger? This one. It's a good belt. Alright. Now, first of all, I want you guys to tell me right there if when I pull that Engage the auger and pull the rope. Are those tines going around? Yes, they are. Good. Now, the only other thing, it's heavy. We're just going to stick it up on end. Okay, this is where I got to do the uh, 110 bench press. Make sure that this thing's pointed sideways. Good. And we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four bolts to take off there. You with me? Are you with me? There's a little bit of belt, belt particles in here. That's not too bad. And some crud bunnies down in here. Okay, a little bit of brake cleaner. Non exploring brake cleaner. Smallest amount uh, with the increase, just oh so small. Right there, there, there. Good. not slipping. I'm going to just wipe that wipe that wheel. See? Do it again. All right. Now we can put that cover on. I gotta take that out and bang that dent out. Well, it's not as pretty, but it's rounder.
There, see the holes even line up now. And we're just going to warm it up and change the oil. John Deere. All right. Are we there? How do the cables look? Good. Yeah, they look fine. Okay, let's get you guys back up so you don't get hoi. We'll start it up, warm it up, and change the coil. Okay, this is where I do my 110 pound bench press release. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to start it up. Oh no, one more thing. So. I'm just going to uh, give it a check over before I change the oil. Thanks. Okay, now I'm melting the uh, mounting the belt cover again. This side too. tight or right or whatever you got to go back and have a little tweak and at the same time we are uh, doing an oil change come with me right there now on these snow blowers when you change the oil you have an advantage it's coming out of here right there where my finger is but you have a bit of an advantage because you can tilt the engine and get a lot more out. See that? And I'm going to measure that. I bet you it's going to be close to a liter. I might just put something underneath there. I like that dripping out of there. There we go. All right. I'm going to send my buddy Alfred a text. Telling them that I made that cardboard key. Well, that's a ten. Oil. recording <laughs> okay so that's her guys I don't think there's anything left to check and then at the same time I've got lots of snowblower shear pins but I did not have any for our three-quarter inch shaft. And that's the crack between there and there on my buddy's snowblower. It's fixed. I just I used his two spares. And I'm going to replace his two spares with one of these two spares here. <laughs> 